Hey guys, what's going on? Glove Save Gaming back here with another video. In today's video, we're doing episode number four, season number four of the Carolina Hurricanes franchise mode. If you haven't had the chance to check out any of the first three seasons, I'd really appreciate if you can go back on my channel and do so. So we're going to begin here with the draft in 2026. We only had four picks. Obviously, we've been doing a lot of trades to kind of go for it. Um, so we don't have that much draft capital. Barkov at 28, though, is a 75 medium top four defenseman. I'm definitely really excited about. Probably has a shot of even making the team next year, maybe even used as a trade piece. The rest of the guys we got in round five and beyond. I'm not too optimistic about making the team, but when you go for it, I mean, that's the sacrifice you pay in trading some draft picks. So we did make one trade this offseason with the Ottawa Senators. It was quite a big one, actually. We sent Jackson Blake and Linus Allmark to the Ottawa Senators in exchange. We got Artem Zub, Mad Sogar, a third round pick in 2027 along with defensive prospect Jorian Donovan so I thought you know what Allmark he was okay last year Kachekov was pretty good when he played let's give him a chance we got a backup goalie back right now in Mad Sogar we got a top four defenseman in Artem Zub we lost Andrew Peak this offseason so I thought it made a lot of sense to do that we got a prospect and a pick like we haven't had a lot of picks so I mean to do this trade I think it's going to be very valuable for us let's take a look at our lines headed into this season we've got Gensel with Aho and Jar Jarvis, Nikash with Stevenson and Svechnikov, Nadeau with Waugh and Brant said Nygaard, and Holmstrom with Evans and Riley Smith. Jake Evans was one of our two unrestricted free agent signings. He's coming in on a one-year deal at $1.9 million to be the fourth-line center. Simone Holmstrom was the other signing a one-year deal at one6 Michael Brant said Nygaard is going to get into the lineup after being drafted 16th overall in 2024, making his NHL debut a couple years later. I'm really liking the way our our forward core is looking on defense. We've got Slavin with Zub, Spence with Nikishin, and Shea with Morrow. Morrow was an RFA. He's brought back on a one-year deal at $3 million. Couldn't settle something long-term, so I thought I may as well bridge him. Did the same thing with Jordan Spence. He's coming back on a one-year deal at 4.35. He was awesome in the playoffs last year, so I thought it was definitely worth it to give him a little bit of a bump in pay. Jordan Stahl is going to be our one healthy scratch. He's down to a 77 overall in the last year of his contract, and our goaltender are Pyotr Kachekov and Mad Sogard. I'm feeling pretty confident about giving Kachekov the chance to be the starting goalie this year. Mad Sogard isn't a bad backup either who can take the net if Kachekov doesn't do well. So hopefully Carolina can go on a run year in season number four. So we're here right before the trade deadline, 61 games into the season, Carolina doing as hot as last year in the regular season, still in a playoff spot though, a wild card spot right now, 70 points in a record of 32, 23, and 6. Taking a look at player stats after 61 games, Aho's at 64 points, Jarvis 54, Gensel 48, Svechnikov 45, Nikash 41, Stevenson 40, Nadeau 37, Waugh 33, Holmstrom 29, Spence with 24, Smith 23, same with Nikishin, Slavin 22, Morrow 18, Branstad Nygaard 16, Evans with 14, Shea with 13, and Zub with 11. Taking a look at goaltenders, Kachekov is 29, 17, and 5, one shot out a 9.05 save percentage and a 3.07 goals against average while Mad Sogard's having a rough season 3.6 and 1 no shutouts 8.67 save percentage and a 4.35 goals against average so we're here at the trade deadline looking to pull off a pretty big move with the Nashville Predators. Send out Nicola Waugh. He hasn't been really doing that great this season. Five goals in 61 games. Mad Sogard's been pretty bad as a backup goalie with an 867 save percentage. William Forsberg, he has a chance to be the goalie of the future, but I mean, when you look at the return, it makes sense why we're going to be sending him out. A second rounder in 2028 will be heading Nashville's way as well. Looking to get Ryan O'Reilly. Just looking to upgrade that 3C role. I think he would be a great add for us. And Yaroslav Askarov. Nashville still has UC Soros, and they don't mind giving this guy away. Four more years left in his contract at 6.6. .6. I'm hoping that this trade will go through. The trade is accepted. So after making that move at the deadline, here are our lines for the rest of the season. Gensel with Aho and Jarvis, Nadeau with Stevenson and Svechnikov, Holmstrom with O'Reilly and Nikash, and Branstad Nygaard with Evans and Riley Smith. On defense, it's Slavin with Zub, Spence with Shea and Nikishin with Morrow. Our only scratch is Jordan Stahl, and our goaltenders are now Yaroslav Askarov and Pyotr Kachekov. 
The regular season is now complete. Very disappointing outcome for the Carolina Hurricanes this year. Missing out on the playoffs. Finishing in 5th in the Metropolitan Division with 88 points. A record of 40-34-8. and eight. The four teams in the Metro that get in the playoffs are the New York Rangers, Columbus Blue Jackets, Washington Capitals, and the New Jersey Devils. The Devils had three more points than us and will qualify for the playoffs. Taking a look at the Atlantic Division, Boston finishes in 1st place, Tampa in 2nd, Montreal in 3rd, Ottawa in fourth Ottawa had 94 points so they were the first wild card team taking a look at the central Colorado Dallas Winnipeg and Chicago will make the playoffs now taking a look at the Pacific the four teams that make it are Vegas Calgary Vancouver and Edmonton Taking a look at final regular season stats for Hurricanes players, Aho finishes with 85 points, Jarvis 73, Gensel 69, Svechnikov 60, Nikash 56, same with Stevenson, Nadeau with 50, O'Reilly with 40, Holmstrom 36, Spence 35, Smith with 32, Nikishin also with 32, Slavin 27, Branson Nygaard 23, Morrow 21, Evans with 19, Shea with 18, and Zub with 15. Taking a look at goaltenders now, Kachekov goes 31 19 and 5 two shutouts and 905 save percentage and a 3.06 goals against average while Yaroslav Askarov was not good since coming over 12 18 and 3 two shutouts and 867 save percentage and a 4.48 goals against average so hopefully he can rebound for next season because I mean we give up a lot to get him and O'Reilly to come over taking a look at goaltenders around the league Vax Vasilevsky and Dylan Garan finished with the most wins with 42 907 and 901 save percentage respect Respectively. I think Vasilevsky may have a really good shot at winning the Vesna this year. Taking a look on defense, Evan Bouchard leads the way, 95 points. Taking a look at right wingers now, Kucherov, he had the most points with 109. Pasternak wasn't too far behind him. McTavish has the most points as a left winger with 106. And centers Braden Point led the way with 120. Taking a look at the playoff bracket for 2027, Colorado will win the Stanley Cup. They sweep round 1, 2, and 3, Edmonton, Dallas, then Chicago, and then they win in 5 in the Stanley Cup Finals over New Jersey, so only losing one game all playoffs long. Taking a look at team and league awards for 2027, Avalanche win the Cup, President's Trophy to the Rangers, Clarence Campbell Bowl to the Avalanche, a Prince of Wales to the Devils, individual awards, the Art Ross goes to Point, along with the Hart, the Norris to Quinn Hughes, the Lady Bing to Point, the Calder to Gavin McKenna, the Conn Smythe to Nathan McKinnon, Vesna to Vasilevsky, William M. Jennings to Montembeau, Will Masterton to Andrew Peak, Jack Adams goes to Tucker, the Capitals coach Selkie to Connor McDavid, Ted Lindsay to Braden Point. Point in the Maurice Richard to Connor Bedard. Thank you very much for watching this video. Carolina Hurricanes franchise mode season number four. Another disappointing outcome, missing out on the playoffs by three points after kind of going for it at the trade deadline. At least we didn't get rid of our first round pick this year. If you haven't had the chance to check out any of my other content, I'd really appreciate it if you can go back and do so. It would help me out if you could like, subscribe, and don't forget to ring that bell so you won't miss any future uploads.